Hey guys, Patrick Oates here with HWP Core TV. We're out here at 2019 NAM. I've got Ben with me. He's a product manager with Allen and Heath. We've got a new firmware version coming out. He's going to go over some of the highlights. Sure. I'm just going to run you through uh, maybe the top three or four features. First one I want to talk about on all 128 processing channels, we now give you ABCD inputs, as you can see up here. So what this allows you to do is assign more than one socket to an input. And where this is really useful is if you've got backup microphones or spare microphones, for instance, you've got a vocalist using a wireless system, the battery runs out, you can very quickly and easily swap to another input socket uh, so there's no interruption in the performance. While we're looking at the channel strip, take a look here at the compressor section. You can see here, this is a new deep processing compressor that we've uh, got for you in 1.8. This is based on a um, industry standard tube driven electro optical compressor. It's renowned for how smooth it is and how uh, the high amount of compression that you can get uh, whilst remaining transparent. So this is really popular on vocals, bass guitar, anything where you really want to get quite a bit of control over the dynamic range without it sounding squashed. Uh, another couple of features I can talk about. If we come over to this screen, you can see the SIP tab. This stands for solo in place. Um, most of you listening will be familiar with this feature from analog boards and so on. We've put this feature into 1.8 and what this allows you to do is use the PAFL path button. You can now use that as a solo button. Um, so that will mute all your other channels and you'll get this signal coming out in front of the house. And I'll very quickly talk about another couple of features that we've got in there for you. You can now see that we've got MCAs. MCAs, um, Mixed Control Association. You can think of an MCA like a DCA, but a DCA, you're controlling the mix to LOR. With an MCA, you're instead controlling the mix to an AUX or a matrix. So where this is really useful is if you're a monitor engineer, you want to tie up, for instance, the members of a drum kit to auxiliary one. What you used to have to do was grab a number of faders at once and push them all up and down. Now you can grab one DCA fader, enable MCA mode, and we can control multiple faders to that AUX via one fader. One final thing to talk about for now, We've got here under the talkback menu, we've got, uh, you can see here, a new GUI element. And these are talkback groups, and we've got 12 if, of these groups. Space. Each one of these groups can have different members. So for instance, you can have it for different areas of the stage, for instance, the drummer, uh, the orchestra. Um, and then these can be assigned to soft keys. So I can press a soft key, hit the talkback button, and just talk to a selected group of auxiliaries. So those are the, the, the kind of big features of 1.8. They're by no means the only features of 1.8. There's going to be a number of others. Um, so stay tuned. This will hopefully be um, reaching you middle of February, everything going well. Um, so yeah, keep tuned to our website, the American Music and Sound website, and you'll uh, see all the other great features we've got for you 1.8. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.